Welcome. This is a new tutorial for the Prefab Updater. In this version, a new, a new um, script has been added, um, which maps the textures to the material. Um, this um, is based on the Substance Painter and the Unity Metallic Standard Shader. So, um, if you want uh, to use this uh, script, the te texture mapper script for your own purposes, then uh, you can uh, uh, read the README and there it is uh, explained um, how to, um, what you have to do if you um, uh, want to use the script without um, Substance Painter. So um, this is my example um, in Unity. Uh, so I made a mesh in Blender. I m moved it and um, imported it in Substance Painter and just uh, dropped some textures um, or some smart materials on the materials and uh, it looks like, like so. So um, then I ex export uh, the, the textures in Unity. So um, I have to make a um, texture folder and must um, store the textures the exported textures under the texture folder um, and this must be a sibling to the object to the model and the um, materials so um, I export them there then I have to select uh, the unity 5 standard metallic shader and then I can export the textures it takes sometimes so um, after this is done, um, then I open Unity it takes uh, some time because I have um, larger textures so this is not Unity, this is Unity so um, Unity imports the textures so um, the textures are not, are not assigned automatically that's absolutely normal and so um, I can use the new script for my model and uh, this is a model It's also available for, for Alloy um, and uh, you can use it also for, for Alloy for the standard shader. But um, yes, but I used it no, for, for the uh, Unity standard metallic shader. So I map the textures pretty fast. Um, there are a lot of materials. Uh, and there are a lot of textures and if you wouldn't do this then you would have to uh, drag and drop uh, on the shader uh, and that's pretty much a lot of work and when you drop um, the normal map on the shader then you have to um, click on fix it because um, Unity don't recognize the normal map automatically so um, this is very fast and and then I know I um, I have also an, a, a prefab of this object and I apply the changes um, so uh, I guess it was not necessary but I just did it 
So, um, no, the second part. No. So um, I change a bit um, the model. The model is not included in the um, in the asset. So just some changes, or maybe a bit larger. And I move them a bit. I could, I know, I don't add anything because it would take too long. So um, now I export it to the FBX and switch back to Unity. And uh, this is how Unity handles the prefabs. So um, and the model is in the prefabs. So if you put a model in the prefab, then um, you have to update your model manually. Um, I have so I, I self um, make my models, and I have to iterate uh, a lot of times over the models. So. Um, I simply don't have time to make it, to uh, synchronize it by hand. So uh, for this reason I wrote the update prefab and the update prefab updater and it allows to make these changes um, automatically and I just have to um, click on apply to prefab and then um, it fix um, the scale. I mean, if you, if I would add uh, some object, then it would also there. And if I would remove, then it would remove. It's pretty complex. Um, it has uh, short limitations, but um, normally it is um, it, it it does its jobs. Um, so it's also moved and everything, and looks like the same like um, here. So, um, mm, and then I can also add, yes, I guess, um, yes, you can also add some, um, windows, for example. But I want the symmetry, so I can make some windows. So and um, yes, but I should first. Reload the model. So this is my this is my changed model. And what still looks good. So um, yes, there I have some windows, and I could make some whatever. I don't know. Need some spacing, a bit larger. And maybe a bit more, more depth. Uh, 
I don't know, maybe. So um, you can also paint it then and um, then just uh, export um, how they changed. And this was just the base. And you would then, um, I guess, instantly um, see it in the um, in Unity and on both sides, and and that's and this is the advantage from Substance Painter and the two tools uh, which I provide. Thank you for watching.